What's up guys, welcome back to another video, and uh, yeah, in this video we're going to review uh, the following indie comic by uh, no other than uh, Lucifer St Christian Rossi, the artist, and uh, Mr. Storm, Lucifer Storm, of uh, Outlaw Comics, and this comic is called Edgain Demon Hunter, part 1. It's actually, yeah. Uh, First, the first what? It's actually the first of uh, yeah. I hope many. I don't know how many issues there are going to be actually, but uh, we'll find out soon. I think it's like four or six. I don't know. I remember. I don't remember what Lucifer uh, told me or told us. It's going to be a four-parter, five-parter. I don't know. But, uh, we'll find out. What the story is about is, it's about uh, yeah, this guy Edward Gain. Ed Gain. Who, uh, yeah, it's kind of a, uh, a loss, uh, yeah, a corrupted soul in an, uh, yeah, in a, yeah, in a, in a cruel world. And, uh, yeah, what, hap what basically happened to him is, uh, yeah, this is the first part of an issue where, uh, yeah, he basically uh, gets contacted by, uh, yeah, by someone to, uh, yeah, Eliminate the threat that could uh, threaten both, uh, yeah, both uh, heaven and hell. But uh, yeah, let's first go into the cover art. Have a little background for it as well. Beautiful art by uh, Christian Rossi from Argentina. It was for storms from the uh, UK. But, yeah, it's a nice cover to it. Reload Comics. Co slash UK. And uh, yeah, it's like a matte feeling to it. It was kind of strange in the hands, but uh, overall I'm not complaining. Going back to, uh, yeah, chapter one. Reload Comics presents, probably presents chapter one. Nothing to uh, gain. <laughs> I uh, I understood that reference. And written by, it's written by Lucifer Storm. Pencil name by Christian Rossi from Argentina. Letter by Lucifer Storm. Cover colors by Christian Rossi. And uh, edited by uh, John Wakefield. Copyright, of course, belongs to uh, yeah, first printing Ed Gein, published by uh, Reload Comics. In this case, uh, their copy all the characters are copyrighted by uh, Lucifer Storm. Lyrics to uh, yeah, that skin mask are from uh, yeah, no other Slayer. Nice reference. All material is uh, yeah, Reload Comics, and uh, nothing may be published, or maybe produced or. Uh, Etc. Without, without permission from uh, yeah, the artists, from the others, and uh, yeah, except for purpose of review or promotion, which is what I'm doing right now, or at least trying to do to the best of my abilities. And uh, yeah, the story. I have my notes uh, on the other side. But, yeah, the story itself takes place in uh, yeah, st or start takes off in uh, yeah Plainfield, Wisconsin. Plainfield, Wisconsin, in uh, the United States, on a Saturday, uh, November at uh, on Saturday afternoon, close to dinner time, where I live. <laughs> and uh, I don't live in the USA, but uh, at six o'clock is usually dinner time in my country. So uh, yeah, there we go. This uh, yeah. It starts as a pol police investigation of the crime scene, and uh, yeah, yeah, they, they find the they find the woman hanging upside down and dressed out like a yeah, they said dressed out like beer, and uh, yeah, what happens next is uh, something walks out of it, yeah, puking, almost puking, and yeah, they found some apparently found something, and uh, yeah. The detectives enter the building, the police enter the building, and what uh, turns out to be, uh, whoa. What the heck is this? <laughs> Indeed. Lord of mercy on our souls. Yeah, they see your cross, a little, yeah, some magazines, basically everything you could uh, figure out of, uh, yeah, what could be a serial killer, or someone was really messed up in the head, etc. Or someone was trying to find something. Or someone. So yeah, pictures are being taken. It's 
things uh, felt in the skull. Nice obscurity in it. And uh, yeah, the contact. Uh, there's a Bible on the side over. There's I think a Bible on the side over there. And yeah, flies f flying around and mats coming out of the skull. At least it looks like it. And uh, yeah. Uh, there's even a human heart out there, which is gracious. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty messed up. But uh, yeah, it's something to expect from an uh, from an uh, noir slash horror. So uh, yeah, I'm not complaining. <laughs> Visually, it looks intense. So uh, yeah, what happens next is uh, they're fine. They uh, yeah, they arrest Mister Gain. Yeah, they have, of course they uh, if they want an attorney they can provide for him, and uh, yeah, do you understand the rights? Yeah, yeah, do you have the right made signed? Everything is said be used against you. And uh, yeah, what happens next? You get blamed for it. I don't know if it's him or not, but uh, yeah, he is. Uh, so you're upset about it, yeah. Of course the press is involved. They want to. Uh, they don't want to miss anything. In this case, yeah. Because, uh, yeah, any publicity is good publicity, even when uh, someone dies. So, uh, yeah, help me, mo and he is, that guy is in panic. And, of course, you can see it, Edward is kind of in panic mode, and, uh, yeah, kind of sad, because, uh, yeah, something is not, man I think he has some mental problems or something, but uh, maybe I'm completely wrong, I don't know. But, yeah, he makes that impression, his body language tells everything. Cameras are flashing, and yeah, he's imp saying he calls for the mother. And, uh, yeah, please help me. And then we zoom in to, uh, yeah, see if I can zoom over here to uh, Plainfield, Wisconsin, a few years later, in 1991, in the in the 90s, at the beginning of the, yeah, actually, it's where, uh, yeah, around the time the grunge uh, movement started to pop up and uh, heavy metal start to become a little more mainstream so uh yeah listen to, listen to their hallowed screams the death have taken my soul then you shall sulk on oh, then and uh yeah we'll see here is uh yeah someone with uh, mental problems it looks like a, it could be a, a hooker or a junkie or something and uh yeah what happens next is uh you're look hey sure you're looking for a little rough housing. Well there will be a little bit of rough housing. Let me turn the page. And what you see here is screams and uh yeah. The what well, should be a, an addict or a prostitute or something else. It's killed in the alley. By what appears to be uh, some kind of demon. And uh, yeah, it was next is uh, Tuesday and uh, we flash forward to uh, Tuesday, August 27th, 1991, at 5.41 p.m. So anybody else known if it is, I'd say in the man, it's like odd. And uh, yeah, we flash into what uh, seems to be, appears to be a TV remote and uh, see and uh, some of the devil horns they all know probably uh, figure out by now who it is he's uh, looking at the screen center uh, yeah he uh, tells uh, to bring uh, yeah mr gain and uh, yeah he's his this employer is convinced that uh, yeah you all know it is. This is uh, Mephisto, Satan, oh, not even Mephisto, it's Satan, who uh, talks to his, uh, so to his uh, little yeah, advisor to uh, yeah bring him in. And uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. What he says next is, uh, is I'm not, I'm not finished. He's the best, and per according to him, Gain is the best shot they have against uh, this vicious killer, and uh, this demon that has escaped. 
But he's, he's also saw in the killing the prostitute or whatever it's called or the junkie. He's apparently also a metal fan. Beam and uh, this uh, little servant, he says, uh, yeah, he wants guy. The devil wants guy because he thinks he's the most suitable for the job. And uh, his servant, his name gets uh, revealed later on. Don't worry. He says no, and he follows his master's orders. And uh, yeah, usually that means death, but in hell, or uh, down in Inferno, that means literally jack shit, because I will come back anyway. He says, the gods, he says he doesn't have the gods to uh, actually do what's necessary to be done. But, uh, yeah. And, uh, yeah. He knows, the, if anyone knows the consequence of reckless decisions, it's uh, him. And, uh, yeah. He were, yeah, of course, you were just, you were but a shy little minion before I brought you out the best in you. I will bring out the best in kind, too. He's the best chance we have, and we will not fail. Now bring me Gain. This is the best I could. <laughs> Probably sounds terrible, I know. But, uh, yeah, eventually uh, his uh, his employee finally agrees. He doesn't like it. He has to swallow this uh, this bite of the of the apple. <laughs> That's irony for some of you. And uh, yeah, what happens next is uh, Tuesday. August uh, 27th, 1991 at 5.59 p.m. And the personal health, Edward Theodore Gein. What's the name of, uh, the full name of, uh, Mr. Gein, of our uh, main character here. He tries to dig up his mother's grave. Don't worry, mother. I'll pick you out. <laughs> and yeah, I'm coming. He comes to take her home. And think and take her home, but, uh, yeah. When he opens the chest, whoa, or the coffin, she's a uh, servant who reveals his name. His name is, uh, Ezra. Ezra, Real, Ezra Brilsberg. And, uh, yeah, he's an associate. He, uh, has come with a uh, task request from his associate. Or an assignment. And yeah, of course, Gain, uh, he scares the hell out of him. Time for... Bam. And of course, uh, he smacks the, smacks the hell out of him. And uh, yeah, but he tries to convince him. This is uh, all a misunderstanding that... Uh, misunderstand that uh, there are some urgent matters to, matters to discuss. And... But that guy doesn't want to listen to reason. Because, uh, yeah, demons must die. Yeah, body of Christ compels you, bitch. But uh, in this case, there's a little catch. There's no, but clearly there's no other option. What he does is he snaps his fingers. That say I didn't warn you. And what turns out to be, is uh, yeah, he's stuck. Uh, of course, he has been. Uh, Apparently, that guy, which wouldn't surprise me after what his, uh, what his accusations were, is, uh, holy smokes, yeah. Smoke appears around him, and apparently he's stuck in a, yeah, in a continuous, in a vicious circle where he kind of uh, lives uh, after his death, where he was executed. That, uh, yeah. In seven years, for seven years he has already dead, and during this time he has... Uh, Living a pleasant moment over and over again. And that's, yeah, him digging up his grave. And, yeah. Uh, and, yeah, he asks, uh, how, why? And, yeah, of course, it's already guessed. This, he calls it br the smell of brimstone. Could totally be uh, Dante's Inferno. And, uh, yeah. You know, it bears hell. And, of course, Edgain uh, says, Oh no, this can't be. My mother said he, I, I would be with the Lord when the time comes. And uh, here comes something beautiful. Is something, yeah, quite funny. Also ironic. Because, yeah, no matter which side of uh, yeah, the, the aisle you were, whether you're religious or not, 
probably uh, always heard someone uh, if you don't uh, do this or that uh, or whether you attend church or not where you uh, where you're still attending church or not is if you don't do certain things you, if you or if you do certain things you go to uh to Dante's Inferno basically but uh, yeah and this is probably the funniest part this is probably a deep part deeper yeah it's, it's a nice symbolism and yeah to it so yeah I'm sorry to tell you but this is your mother is not the boss when it comes to who is sense and who is sense but it also could be applied to for example a preacher or a priest he says who is sense and the sense but uh, at the end of the day why you believe it or not? I personally was uh, ra I personally was raised uh, with uh, yeah, agnostic. My uh, parents were ex-Catholics, or were still Catholics, but not practicant. And uh, yeah, I was raised agnostic, and this is probably the best part. Is uh, there's also a deeper meaning to it that uh, yeah, you, in the end, why you believe in it or not, it doesn't matter where you stand. It's not up to uh, humans or humanity to decide who ascends and who descends to uh, heaven or to hell and that this will always be in them and this will always be yeah decided by a higher power than uh, yeah than the mortal realm so uh i like the little symbolism over there so yeah who decides who's the one who's the one who decides who goes to uh, yeah Dante's Inferno or to uh, the sky joining the sun so yeah or yeah God or yeah God in heaven then who is uh, his associate that's kind of obvious what with this right now what happens next is uh, yeah he points uh, Ezra reels back points uh, at this employer excuse me and yeah, that guy is not sure, still not uh, sure what to expect of him. Want to speak to him, and uh, yeah, we have here's a beautiful splash page with uh, yeah, his associate. It's no other than uh, the devil, in a nice suit, of smoking, and Ezra. I like this design, by the way. It kind of reminds me of uh, yeah, a little bit of the art of uh, Twenty One Hundred Samurai. It's not too. Uh, in the way uh, the setting is how to set up in the black and white etc but uh, a little darker and uh, yeah it's a little yeah it's a little yeah I like the simple it's not too overcomplicated it's quite simplistic but it does a trick it really does a trick and uh, yeah what goes next is uh, yeah going back to uh, North Street Plainfield Wisconsin 27th uh, August 27 1991 Six seventeen p p.m. and uh, yeah, some shouting, Mary, excuse me, Miss, what's up, honey? And it's just somewhere to lay his head, or her head, place where yeah. You might help another fellow, but I'm afraid. And suddenly, uh, this man, uh, it's not the man he's he looks out to be, and. Uh, Suddenly a hand goes uh, straight to his throat with his mouth and uh, the bartender cr screams the hell out and the and his demon, yeah. Prince found a human host. Signs war, you shouldn't be screaming. Not yet. <laughs> and uh, yeah, the guy over here is dead. He's not coming back. And uh, yeah. And yeah, th here's where the devil gives his where Mephistopheles gives his assignment and yeah he really said uh, that you can help and he wants that guy's help and uh, yeah the demon has escaped I'm not sure how it, that the demon has escaped from hell that's the same one who killed uh, one the hooker to the this guy over here and yeah he tries to convince the guy basically to yeah Yeah, he basically yeah, basically has no other choice than uh, yeah, try that guy in his uh, yeah, his job uh, 
Shadow Blades took two punches those uh, who cast Chaos Maim and War. Then to punish this demon once he's returned to to hell. And yeah, he basically sent another uh, yeah, deranged killing machine after another one. And at kind is the other deranged killing machine. Who yeah. Oh, he thought he was mentally uh, unstable, and uh, I was com was confirmed. And he killed, and he killed someone. That cost him his life. So uh, yeah, hmm. Why did he decline? Thank you, but uh, I think that it's gonna have to decline. He that kind of declines at first, but uh, yeah. And yeah, the devil doesn't take. Is uh, kind of upset, but uh, yeah, Ezra. As for Rails back, tries to yeah calm down and to uh, yeah convince him. That's yeah, he's not and yeah Edgar doesn't know if he's sure if he's about to if he deserves to be redeemed and everything, but uh, yeah. And yeah, he's he tells him yeah he's I mess up, uh, we always do. Yeah, he doesn't want to disappoint his mother anymore, who's long deceased. It's very noble, but you to do right by your mother. And yes, yes, he did. Yes, he does, but yeah. And yeah, what? Well, he gives a little bit of his, yeah, his own two cents about it. And yeah, the devil, yeah. Kind of gets tired about the speech. Understandable. <laughs> and yeah. Yeah, in all yeah, in all his life. And here the devil gives his yeah his little uh, version of reality which ha he has a point. In all his life serving as the ruler of the underworld, he has learned that the real monsters are the ones who masquerade as saints or makes every sin they commit for like reckless abandon. And he's totally right about that. Usually the one who cried the most about the uh, Having the best intentions and being the good guys are usually the ones who don't have your interests at heart. That's why you would need to distance yourself from them. So yeah, he, there's a little bit of truth in here. So that's a, that's a nice uh, catch to it. And uh, yeah. And yeah, he also gives a, gives a little background of how demons are created, what who they are. And they are evil spirits indeed. Every human has, has one. Some of them uh, are... Uh, Good, some are evil, and you have some good spirits that are corrupted, and over time, uh, yeah, that kind of spirit got corrupted at a certain point. And, uh, yeah, and yeah, the, the one who escaped is yeah, being felt being wronged by his father, and yeah, and once they learned they could get to what basically happens is once they get to Earth, they need to revenge, but. Uh, they need to bond. They also need to find a body where they could bond with. Here comes the catch. They can do it before, uh, yeah, the first circle of midnight. And then uh, they'll be able to ascend to heaven. Yeah, they will fight, uh, yeah, the split throats of angels. And yeah. And eventually kill, eventually kill God. Yeah, eventually he will need. Yeah, you think uh, that, yeah, the devil eventually wants to, uh, yeah. Kill God. He probably would have wanted that at a certain point in time, but yeah. If he kills uh, God, in this case, and uh, the angels in heaven, if he kills the one thing that created him, he goes too. And uh, yeah. Where he, ha where he, yeah. And if he kill, and he, if he gets, ki if it, uh, yeah, our holy father, in ha our, yeah, our father in heaven, if you believe in him or not. I believe there's something out there, whether it's a god or multiple gods, I don't know. But uh, yeah, what happens here is, uh, yeah, if he does, if he goes, all, the, all he knows what, if he goes, if uh, God goes, if the if the angels in heaven goes, it means that he and uh, his demons in hell will cease to exist as well. So yeah, so there's a, there's a nice, yeah, symbolism to it, and yeah. There's a nice symbolism to it, and yeah, and yeah, it shows the coexistence between uh, yeah, heaven and hell, 
and uh, yeah, between uh, yeah, angels and demons. It's a nice quote from Dan Brown. It's also the title of a book from Dan Brown. But uh, yeah, it's also applicable here. And uh, yeah. And uh, yeah, that guy decides that he'll do it. And so yeah, he says uh, if he fails, his mother won't be around. If he su succeeds, well. He would be really proud of her. But yeah. And yeah, Ezra is not convinced he wants him to reconsider, but uh, yeah. He won't forget this guy. It won't be an easy task, but I have a few mis items that will, that will make your mission go as smoothly as possible. Yeah, so yeah, he gives him a few items. Some weaponry. Yeah, of course, I have to strain. Teams are usually stronger than uh, humans. It's more than obvious. And he get uh, he's given the sort of Osiris. It's an uh, Egyptian god. Death. But, uh, yeah. And yeah, Astra goes with him. <laughs> he doesn't like it, <laughs> cause uh, yeah. And yeah, the demon is on his uh, stomping ground, Plainfield, Wisconsin. So uh, I think it's called uh, yeah. Belongs to a uh, yeah, Washua country. I uh, know exactly, but yeah, that's that's not name it for a W. But, uh, yeah, his his task is uh, his task is to bring uh, yeah the demon uh, back to uh, to say to Satan to uh, yeah so that he will uh, yeah take care of him. But, yeah, any more questions? Yeah, that guy is uh, yeah he's eager to leave, and uh, yeah, it's more than obvious he likes it. Another, yeah, deranged serial killer going after another. But if there's one thing you'll learn when there is what when you're making a deal with the devil, there's always a catch. That's uh, yeah, when you make a deal with the devil, the ghost right ahead with uh, yeah is uh, this uh, guy, Mephisto. That guy has it with uh, yeah, Satan over our uh, friend Satan over here, and uh, yeah. Once you make a deal with the devil, it's something we learned from uh, yeah, all kinds of stories. Or when you deal with uh, join the when you join the dark side, there's always a catch to it. And uh, yeah, that kind of story is no different. So we're going back to uh, yeah, Wisconsin. It's evening, 7 p.m. on the on the yeah on Tuesday evening, 7 p.m. and uh, yeah. Ed Cain uh, goes with his uh, weaponry, but uh, yeah, try to lo look everywhere where to find the demon. But yeah, the old Mr. Son of Gun, and a lot has changed. And uh, yeah, Ezra, he's kind of embarrassed to come out, and uh, I understand the reason why, because <laughs> he, j he got changed into a dog. And uh, yeah, of course he still tells me you want to play, f want to play fetch. <laughs> this is funny. Nice twist to it. Yeah, Ezra doesn't like it at all. Yeah, I c and I can't blame him. <laughs> yeah. It shows that the de that uh, the devil has a has a sense of humor as well. But, uh, yeah. But uh, I bet this doggo can't wait to smell the brimstone again. And but uh, yeah, he has a good nose for it, so he gets uh, he gets a trace of it. He has to find a way where to go first, and ends in a Buffalo Bi Buffalo Bill Bar Buffalo Bill Bar. And uh, yeah, and grill. Well, they're going for some buffalo wings, but uh, like I said, when you make a deal with the devil. There's always a catch to it, and in this case, there's no different, because the plot twist here, the, t the twist, there's always a, yeah, a twist uh, to it, or it's always, yeah, you also have to read the small letters, because uh, in this case, the demon he has to hunt,
to possession. Not only has he killed, as she, he or she killed everybody, as team killed everybody, but uh, it's taking the appearance of. Uh, Someone who is very disappointed in him. And uh, yeah. This is where the first chapter ends. With a nice plot twist at the end. And some, uh, yeah. Some old ladies eating uh, all kinds of vital organs. Let's say, this is where the story ends. Will be continued someday, but not today. Therefore, you could go, you could go right now to uh, Indiegogo and back uh, at Gain Demon Hunter at Gain Issue Two. Demon Hunter Issue Two. And uh, yeah, that's it for this, this review. It's a little poser at the, it's a little poser at the end of art by Christian Rossi, etc. Going back to the review is uh, to how it is. So yeah, once you make a deal with the devil, there's always a catch. In this case, so uh, yeah, we're going back to yeah, reviewing uh, yeah, going bit by bit is. Oh, I like it. I like how the cover is designed. Christian really knows how to uh, how to uh, bring the characters to life, and uh, yeah, Lucifer Storm has some amazing Ryan skills. The art itself, exterior and interior, there's a good match between it, despite this being in color and black and white. There's a, there's a good uh, yeah balance between the interior and exterior art. And uh, yeah, also like uh, the art style is, yeah, it's a typical yeah horror slash uh, supernatural noir. And it's something that, uh, yeah, something different for a change. I'm usually not big, I'm usually not big, I wasn't big on the on the black and white, but with reading more manga, etc., it uh, became more, uh, yeah, it got more use to it, and uh, I'm starting to appreciate it a little more as well, bit by bit. And this is, uh, yeah, the art style itself from this, it's not overcomplicated, it's not too, uh, it's not, uh, yeah, super detailed like uh, that of a John Mayen or an Eden Skyver, but uh, like I said, with similar to 2100 Samurai, it's it's simplistic, but within the simplicity lies the genius of, uh, yeah. It shows that you don't need to, to overcomplicate things as well. The other thing I like about art is, yeah, the page flows really nicely. Nice double spread at, uh, yeah, at the second and third page. And, yeah, from the range serial killer. It's nice. Uh, also, I'm also surprised by the nice addition of, uh, sla of the Slayer lyrics of... Uh, of, uh, yeah, let's see, that skin mask. That skin mask. I don't know if it's the same band, but yeah. I probably need to listen to that song to get a better uh, understanding of it, but uh, yeah. Nice, int nice, uh, yeah, nice, uh, yeah. Nice way to include the song into the story. There's a lot of uh, f things going on, and uh, yeah. It shows the devil in a different, li yeah, in a slightly different light for a change, as, uh, yeah. I was like a guy of secret service. Yeah, it kind of is because he has to hunt uh, a de uh, has to hunt an escaped demon back from before he uh, goes to heaven and hence uh, the existence of both uh, angels and demons. But, uh, yeah. It also shows uh, yeah. It's not of complicated I like how the story flows. It goes so really it goes really well, yeah. The pacing is uh, spot on. I like how uh, the time jumps are there, and uh, yeah, and splash page comes to uh, yeah this comes to uh, yeah this where uh, this is really is where uh, yeah Christian Rossi shines. It's, it's not overcomplicated. It's uh, yeah, but it's uh, yeah. Story writing is um, spectacular, and uh, yeah, it's uh, it's also I also like a. Uh, yeah, the symbolism in it, and that's something. If you read, I read it the first. To be honest with you, I read the first time the PDF quickly. I went through it really uh, global and to uh, give the review of uh, 
75 out of 100, I think, or 70. But that, I have to admit, that review was premature. Because, uh, yeah, when you're reading through P quickly through PDF, there's no, there are bounds, there's, yeah, a little, da yeah. You miss certain, yeah, hidden, uh, yeah, details slash uh, symbolism in it. And, uh, yeah, some hi and some hidden meaning in it, or clues. And, uh, yeah, the more I started reading it, the more new things I discovered that I overlooked the previous time. Just like when, uh, yeah, I also like the symbolism in it, that, uh, especially the one uh, where, uh, where they enter, yeah, where you exit uh, the dream, the, yeah, continuous cycle of uh, him digging up his uh, mother, etc. Before he uh, was sentenced to death. And uh, eventually, yeah, this aside from, yeah, you always hear some people and priests and preachers alike telling you that, uh, yeah, you don't do this, you go to hell, or you this, you this and you go to heaven, but at the end of the day, it's not up to... Uh, Come back to that uh, page again for a bit. So I support the best. It's not up to yeah. This part is really uh, really good story writing. This yeah, he thought he was going to heaven, but in the end, yeah, it's not up to humanity to decide who goes, uh, who ascends, or who descends. It will always be in the hands of a higher power. Where it's a godlike being or the devil, it doesn't matter. Those are things you uh, you kind of doom to overlook when you just uh, quickly go to the pages. That's why my uh, my first re my first review when I did a quick Twitter review a few months ago. It uh, yeah, it was really premature because uh, there's so much more hidden within the pages, within the black and white, and uh, yeah, the plot this twist at the end is uh, yeah. A work of genius, <laughs> really smart. And yeah, Ezra doesn't like being a dog. He misses the brimstone of hell, but uh, yeah. Overall, yeah, I gave the set. I gave the seventy out of a one hundred, or seventy-five out of one hundred the first time. But when I look, when I read through it another time. And uh, yeah, another time, another time, I'm discovering new things. And uh, yeah. So uh, the read the readabil so yeah, the, re the readability is yeah. It's worth to reread a few times before you you understand what's going on. It's really an issue that makes you think, and I think Lucifer Storm. Yeah, where you where you yeah, you believe in in God or not? I think there's a lot of uh, hidden uh, symbolism in it that you you'll find interesting, and that's something you might miss at the first read, but you need a few times more. It's not an issue you should read once. It's one you should read uh, twice, maybe thrice before you get what's going on. And uh, yeah. Gen so yeah, pacing good. So yeah, art is a is a is an is absolutely yeah, ten out of ten or uh, ninety five out of one hundred. The, the story writing is uh, yeah. Nine is uh, nine of is sorry to, uh, the hardest yeah between I'm split between uh, ten out of ten and uh, ninety out of one hundred but I keep the ninety five out of one hundred the st the pacing etc story writing is uh, yeah around uh, I think yeah ninety out of one hundred art style is yeah fantastic line art pretty good cover good quality. Feels a little strange in my hand because it's a little mat, it's a little mat to it. And uh, yeah, story writing itself, yeah, story writing itself, yeah. There's no uh, doubt why he's an award-winning graph, why Lucifer Storm is an award-winning graph, graphic novelist from the UK because he really knows what he's doing. He really has a feeling for the supernatural, and it's not just he doesn't just write uh, comics that uh, are entertaining or that have a little darker element to it. it really makes you think yeah no matter what side of the aisle you're on i think you will enjoy this one don't read it once don't read it twice read it twice and uh, yeah figure out yourself so yeah so yeah the art so yeah 
probably use 9, 95, 100, the other one is 90 of 100, and uh, yeah, lettering, etc. Also 90 of 100, so uh, yeah, overall. I think this issue is uh, the 75 out of 100 was premature. This one gets uh, 90 of, 19 out of, of 100 from me, so 9 out of 10. You should really pick this one up. It's something that uh, the big two refuse or the former big two refused to uh, offer you. Don't even bother on uh, watching the name or the Submariner because uh, they try to uh, include uh, certain things from uh, mythology that uh, don't make sense. But yeah, back to the issue. Highly recommend it. Lucifer Storm actually absolutely nailed it. And uh, yeah, felici felicitations uh, by Christian Rossi for. Uh, for uh, Pintari uh, diseñar todos esos caracteres y las páginas. Hiciste un uh, estupendo trabajo. And, yeah, great work, both of you. And, uh, yeah, that's all for this review. The only thing you have to do right now is go back to Indiegogo and back uh, at Gain Part 2. I'll put the link down in the description later on. If you'd like to see what I created, Jarrow Warrior is uh, issue one. Death of the Family is available on uh, Global Comics as a yeah traditional webcomic format on uh, of course on uh, yeah my own website jarrowwarrior.com as a more vertical scrolling uh, webcomic format and uh, yeah also on Gumbro and if you like what you saw go to Gumroad and pick yourself a uh, yeah a digital edition for like uh, two uh, two euros. Not too much, not too little. And you get a, a PDF and the CBR file for a good price. And uh, yeah, I also have some uh, physical copies uh, printed, but they kind of ran out quickly. <laughs> I didn't expect that. So yeah, Mike Jimmy, you have to wait wait a little bit. You also have to wait a little bit before I put on Gumroad. Also, uh, yeah, sent an email to uh, one of the organization, organizations behind the little con in Rijswijk. So I could get potentially get my own stands. I probably need to get a business card and those kind of things ready, even posters or something. Get posters ready or something and business cards and all the things and probably need to print way more. I don't know if it will be a success or not, I'm just starting out. But uh, hey, sometimes you have to do, take a step into the unknown, just like with this. And uh, yeah, that's all. Check those links out. Go check out uh, Edkind Part 2 on uh, Indiegogo. Lucifer, because, uh, yeah, I think Lucifer Storm actually did the first great job. Hopefully Satan comes uh, soon as well, because... Uh, it takes a while. I understand that uh, crowdfunding takes uh, a while to uh, fulfill, but... Uh, I'm seeing that I'm losing my patience, but... Uh, I'm kind of wondering where it went, what's happening to Lady Satan, if it's continued or not, or... Maybe something came in between. But yeah. That's uh, For now I'm not complaining. I'd rather buy a good product that has been delayed than something rushed. What you get from the current big two at the moment. And uh, yeah. That's all for this video. Go to Indiegogo. Back this campaign. I could repeat, I could repeat myself five times already. And uh, yeah. I'll see you guys on the next one. Hasta la próxima. Spore Hacker out.